What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another Attack on Titan. I'm on the wrong screen doing my intro. Um <laughs> Yeah, so we're back with another Attack on Titan reaction here. Um episode 17, I think off season three. And last episode we got Levi going after the Beast Titan as Erwin as instructed him to do seems like Erwin got hurt at the end of the episode looked like he got knocked off his horse um Aaron is getting his ass kicked by the colossal titan and the under armor titan is back up so yeah things are not looking good for them right now it is so not looking good for them right now I, I mean <sighs> The wings of freedom <laughs> man y'all needs y'all need some sort of wings <laughs> to help y'all out in this situation because i don't know what's gonna happen i'm excited to see what's going to happen in this episode hopefully we get to see levi versus the beast titan man let's get into it i will see you guys after the review let's get into it let's go i will see you guys for the review I'm not gonna lie, man. That one, that one hit me hard. That at the end there, that was a tough episode to watch. The sack, the 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 thing about that, it's it's a love hate. Well, not really a love hate. It's a love, not like no love, love dislike. Um, not necessarily full on hate about this series is just <sighs> the emotions that it brings out of you sometimes you know what I'm saying it's not you know the first time that I've you know gotten emotional over ha over anime of course not but these moments hit hard Especially when you're watching this anime on a weekly basis and your anticipation and build up, you know, gets you to this point and you're, you know, you're hoping for hopeful situation. Like I was, I was preparing myself to see Erwin go, go down, which I don't think Erwin is dead. I don't think he's dead. I think he's injured. He's injured, but he's not dead. I don't think he's dead. Marlo is done. Marlo got hit in the face. He he's not surviving that. Um It's a it's a bittersweet episode. It's a bittersweet episode because as it, the Beast Titan ex escaped after the the epicness the epicness of Levi just being Levi. <sighs> this anime gets me so so in in my feelings and my emotions, man. Bringing back, um, it's like it's the same type of moments that you know, epic moments that you had in in Naruto. The epic moments. You know, as much as some of them were assholes, you know, it's. And this and Attack on Titan is, is doing it on another level on in, in, a, in such a better way with this with the storytelling and the consistency with the storytelling. And, you know, the 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 um, the way how they do it and the expectancy of of people dying but it's like it's like the the mind game that it plays with you you know what i'm saying like the mind game that it plays with you as in you don't know what's going to happen you know at any moment a character could die but you're still the hope is what they play with the hope that you're holding on to that 
your favorite character won't die or you know something gonna happen to somebody that you really love in the show it's that's what they play around with and it's brilliant the writer is brilliant because i mean <sighs> shout out to armin man one, one of the brightest mind that they had and now he's gone are they gonna use the um is levi going to use but i mean you do you have to be alive to become a titan i don't know i think so so i don't think they can save armin that way with the with the injection um but then again i mean but you know now they have they got reiner and they got Berthold as prisoners right um i mean in this episode they got rid of all three of the major titans the the major enemies and one the biggest one escaped and you know in, in in from a story writing aspect it's the best way to go but we're like dude you should have killed him you know because know what the audience reactions are going to be but he's the ultimate right now he's the ultimate baddie you can't get one chance to kill him in any story writing story that you're writing you can't get one chance to kill to, to kill the ultimate baddie and think that's going to be it you know what i'm saying it's just like if you want to talk about great stories that are written harry potter um you know you get how many times the the uh what's his name voldemort how many times you know what i'm saying you know he before they actually you know got rid of him and that's what I'm saying. The ultimate baddie, I didn't. It, it, as much as I wanted, I know where the hesitation come from because you saw during that scene. You saw my reaction when he got away. I I was like, oh, you should have killed him. But then I understand the hesitation. I understand it was a tough choice because should I inject Irwin and then let him eat the beast titan so they can have the beast titan powers on their side now. It's a tough decision, but you know, we in the audience say no, kill him right now because if you kill him, you know what I'm saying, we get rid of that threat, you know. But all in all, we, you know, they do need more Titan powers on their side. Who are we rooting for right now? Um, I'm still, I'm rooting for them because. I'm I'm rooting for you know the the it's them against the Titans, right? It's it's Aaron, it's Levi, it's them against the Titans. I'm rooting for them, but the way out of story is being written, it kind of seems like, you know, the Beast Titan, Berthold, right? And it seems like Reiner, they seems like they have a legitimate reason for doing what they're doing. It seems like they want to free the people, but you're going about it the wrong. Where it kind of seems like that's what they're trying to do because the speech that he gave when they were running towards him where he was like, uh, you know, um, King, what did he say, King Rice? I think, I think he said King Rice that fool them all and wipe their memories and whatever. I don't know if the aim of them is to um, figure out a way to release the memories. I don't know what it is, but all I know is it seems like they have a quote-unquote noble reason to do what they're doing but as i said pretty much every good villain has a good reason that that should make you think about what they're doing usually and so far you know we just see him doing bad stuff except for now kind of get an insight of about how he's thinking about these people that he's fighting you know on the side that we're rooting for at least what i'm rooting for um it was absolutely amazing levi and mikasa man the the two ackermans that's that's left um but told me that they have superpowers you know their their agility everything their speed is um is heightened because they were they were the protectors of the king and all of this other stuff the ackermans so they're like they have this ability that they kind of really do, they know they 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 use it but they don't know you know 
you get what I'm saying. So, um, it's it's this was as I said, this was a bittersweet episode. Sound design, animation, top notch as always, man. Oh my god, they need to give more series to this studio. Um, I think there's certain animes that is going around. I wish they. I mean, if this studio could get their hands on Dragon Ball, I think we would get some amazing fight scenes. I'm not even going to lie. I think we would get some really amazing fighting in Dragon Ball, you know, other than the whole, you know, repetition foolishness that, um, what's the name of the studio that has it now? Freaking, is it, is it, um, I think it's the same studio that does One Piece. I I, I don't remember. Whatever. I think it's the same one, but this was an amazing episode, man. Hands down, one of the best episodes I've watched of Attack on Titan, no doubt. Um, anytime Levi gets to do something amazing, it, they always go above and behind, beyond with him. I mean, he took out the hand, he took out the eyes, he took out the legs. He, I mean, it was so amazing to see him do his thing, man. The, the spinning junk that he does, man. Like, I wish everybody could do what he does. But that would just make it so generic, you know. But if everybody had those skills, you know, they would survive a lot longer, you know. But, it, you know, it's special between him and, uh, and Mikasa. So, I'm loving it. I want to sneeze. But anyway, let me finish this up and wrap this up, man. Um... This was a bittersweet sweet episode. It was, they started out with, <laughs> you know, the happiness, the joyfulness, the epicness. And then they just, uh, I don't know if I, sh I should be happy about them capturing um, Reiner and Berthold. But, uh, but then we lost Armin. We lost Armin, man. There's no other character. It's, I mean, Sasha got hurt. But Armin, Armin is 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 all the way from from the beginning of the series. So we've all grown to love him with his with his his strategy. Eren basically found out about his Titan powers because of Armin, because he had to save Armin from um, in that first season um, when he when he pulled Armin out of the Titan's mouth, he got swallowed. You know, so Armin is, he sacrificed himself for the plan, man. And, and you know, he said it himself. And that's why I, I sighed because I was like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? When he, when he said, if this plan goes well, I'm not going to get to see the, what he said, the, the outs, he said something, you know what I'm talking about. He's not going to get to see the sea or something like that. The ocean, you know, which is tough. It's tough because that's his dream, man. That's all he wanted. And now what? You know what I'm saying? I had to hold back the tears. I, I really did. I really had to hold back the tears there, man, because they were coming. They were coming. I, I really had to hold them back. They were coming. Um, but thank you guys for watching as always, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, it's always good to, um, do these, do these reactions, man. Um, so thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Remember to like the video, leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you guys for watching, man. As always, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.